Hey, so what's up everybody? This is your man Frank Dutch right here of Apex Music and Media. And today I want to show y'all how to create beats in Pro Tools or do things with MIDI in Pro Tools. I get a lot of questions on like how to do stuff like that. So I figure I'd do a tutorial about it. Here you go. So the first thing you want to do is you want to set up four types of tracks. You want to set up an audio track and a instrument track and a MIDI track. Let's see, get my MIDI track and an instrument track. And you want to lastly set up a click track. So once you got that squared away, if you're not already in grid mode, you know, say like if you're in slip mode or shuffle or spot, put it in grid mode. And I also like to change my main ruler to uh, bars and beats because sometimes you know you'll open up Pro Tools depending on your last session it might be in minutes or seconds and you know time code and so on and so forth so change it to bars and beats for this one and set it to show main ruler right by right clicking on it and boom main ruler only so the next thing that you want to do is you want to navigate to your MIDI control section and adjust it to the desired tempo or beats per minute, which is right here. This is your, your MIDI section. And uh, see, if you look at this, I'm not able to do anything to it when I click on it. That's because we got this little guy click. You know what I'm saying? We got this little guy highlighted, so we want to turn that off. And also, sometimes um, you may not have your metronome on, which is going to uh, be running from your click track. So if this is not highlighted, if it's grayed out like that, you want to do... You want to click that. So change your tempo. And uh, also in your MIDI section, you want to turn on your count off. And if you double click the one bar here, this dialog box will come up. And we want to put it on. Um, we want it to click only during record. And we want it to be set for one bar, the count off to be set for one bar. So once you do that, you hit OK. And then you want to toggle to your mix screen. So in the in and out section, you want to, um, on your MIDI track, on your in and out section, on your MIDI track, you want to set it to your desired um, MIDI controller. Right here I'm using a, a M-Audio um, Oxygen 49. You know, it's not really a whole lot to it. You know, it's pretty much you just plug and play and you get started. I think it comes with a couple of drivers brand new and a, maybe a couple of um, a couple of VSTs. But uh, for the most part, you just plug it in, turn it on, and get it rocking. So select that, put it on all channels. And then you want to go to your instrument track. And you want to select the instrument. Let's see, we use the complete control for this one. And, uh, you know, you pick your instrument, whatever it may be. We're just going to pick a quick bass right quick. And um, once it loads up, you want to arm the track to record. Now, because you set your, your MIDI track to your, um, your MIDI controller, you're able to control your instrument from your instrument track when you arm it to record. So, let me see, let's pull up this right here. Now, we got everything set up. We say, you know, we got a melody in our head. We got it set up. We're ready to go. You know what I'm saying? You hit record. It counts off. Let's say that's what I got. That's what I like. I'm going to exit out of this right here. And we got it on grid mode already. So trim it down to the, to the desired uh, length. And boom, we're good to go. So say that's the, that's the end of our beat. That's all we wanted to do. This is why I told y'all to set up um, audio tracks. Because now when we route, we can route the, um, the instrument tracks. Oh, hold on, I'm on the wrong one. 
if we, we can route instrument tracks um, via the bus and route it to the input of the audio track and now when we hit record we got stems we got an audio track that's created you know what I'm saying now say like you know we didn't like the way it sounded it's a little off to us the MIDI notes double click on that MIDI clip right click on any of the um, right click on any of the notes and we go to event operations quantize set it to our desired settings hit apply and you see in the background it adjusted and I'm gonna AB it for you right quick And that's pretty much how you do it. You know what I'm saying? I want to give a special thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Definitely subscribe. You know what I'm saying? That helps us out a lot. And also, follow us on Instagram at Apex Music and Media. All right? Peace.